I am doing um, the tree octopus. I went to the um, link to help save the endangered Pacific Northwest tree octopus. And I am going to see um, the validity of this website based on um, Beth Phillips's ABCs of a website um, to see if this is in fact a reliable source. Um, the first thing that she had said was to go up and look at the web address and that was um, just a quick indicator to see if this website is in fact reliable. Um, some of the websites, if it ends in edu or gov or um, organization, org, then those are pretty valid websites. And as I look up here, I don't see any .gov or .edu's. So um, it, it doesn't look as though it is a reliable source just based on that, even though that's not um, the for sure way of finding out if this is in fact a valid website. So um, I'm going to navigate through this website to see. So the first thing, A, is the author. So I'm scrolling through this to see if in fact I can find um, who created this website. It looks like here it says made in um, Cascadia. So I'm going to click on that and see what comes up. It says welcome to the Republic of Cascadia homepage. Um, okay, this looks I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like um, some sort of different website about a place called Cascadia, which I've never heard of. So that doesn't really say anything about the author. So I'm going to go back here um, and see if I can usually, the authors, there's links at the bottom. Um, this says, other than the Calvinic University branch of Wild Haggis Conservation Society. So I don't see any author name. So that doesn't look too good. The next B is for bias showing opinions or facts. Um, so I'm going to look through this information. Um, these look like facts here if people are spotting this tree octopus. Um, so we can go to, I'm going to click on frequently asked questions. Let's see what's here. This doesn't really say anything about, well it has facts about the tree octopus. Um, so it looks as though it shows a map of it, so those are facts, why it's endangered. Well, this looks like right here an opinion. We feel that it should be added since its numbers are at a crucially low level for its breeding needs. The reasons for this dire situation and so on. So that looks like um, an opinion that why this tree octopus should be on the endangered species list. Um, so I'm going to go to the C of the ABCs, which is content. Is it broad in scope? Um, it doesn't look... The links here on the side, I'm going to click on this and see what comes up to see if there's a lot more... I'm going to close out of that. Um, so this is a .com, seattletimes.com. So this could be a commercial site just trying to sell something from Seattle. And this talks about, so this is an article about a sighting of a tree octopus. And I'm sure these are too, but there's no other, there's some links on the temperate rainforest, which will probably tell me about temperate rainforest, but not, uh, and this is Wikipedia, which I have knowledge of wiki pages and that anybody can edit it so that is not a reliable source or reliable website so um, 
So I'm going to go to see if D, if there's any dates or editors, which is the E. And I, again, I don't see any of those anywhere on this side. I don't see um, any editor's names. These are just novels of books. So this site is not looking too reliable here because I haven't found any names of anybody who could possibly be even creating this website. Um, these are just activities, I guess, that you can do. <laughs> so, um, according to the ABCs of this website, this does not look like a very reliable source. Um, there are not many links. Uh, the web address is not reliable. It's not a .gov or a .org. Um, so is it easy to navigate? It's pretty easy. There's links here that you can click on and it'll take you to a new page. But with the information that's given here, it looks like there's, again, this is basically an opinion website to help save it. Um, and so it doesn't really look like uh, too much of a reliable source. And it looks like there's a the blog here. Um, so again, blogs are usually connected to people's opinions about things. Um, so, you know, uh, in conclusion, using the ABCs of a website um, to see if it's valid or not really actually does help, um, which is interesting because usually when I have done um, previous um, research, I haven't really taken the time to look and see if there's dates and if there's editors and usually you just kind of read through the information. Um, I think this will be really beneficial for my students because if they don't find an editor, if they don't find an author, if they see that the web address is not a .gov or an edu, um, then that could help them decipher if this is in fact a valid website or not. So. I think that um, this activity, having them go to a website and see if it is in fact a valid website or not, can really help them with their research because it's very overwhelming going to um, a bunch of different websites, not knowing where to look or how to sift through the information. So I think this could be really helpful for my students to even you know, begin to do their research on uh, the internet. Another thing to point out to my students is the fact that there's really no table of contents to show how this website is organized. We have this at the top, but these aren't really information. The only There's only one tab here that shows that there's information about this um, tree octopus. There's frequently asked questions, there's sightings, there's media, and there's activities, but again, there's no sources. Um, to show where they're getting this information. So I think that is really important to show the students that, you know, if there's no um, direct links or um, credits to any authors or editors to show where they got this from, then it really cannot be a valid website for their research.